this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Be Quiet Straight Power 11 750 watt gold power supply unit. This is a device that's obviously designed to run efficiently and quietly while supplying your PC with the power that you need. Now, I have recently installed this power supply in an XPG mid tower case. I'll link to that video in the description, but I'm going to unbox it now and also show you the setup and installation process while talking about the highlights and features of this PSU. Now, it's obviously designed by Be Quiet, which means it has a focus on running quietly and efficiently. And you can see from the top down view, it has a large 135 mil fan with optimized flan blades. And you'll note the design of that means that it should run quietly under use while also still being efficient. 750 watts should be more than enough for most systems. And I'm using it in this one with a fairly high end CPU and GPU setup. And I'll include all the specifications in the description so you can see what was used in the build process. But what I'm gonna do now is unbox this PSU and show you what's included in the box. Now this is a modular power supply unit, which has the bonus of allowing you to only install the cables that you need. And you will have seen some of that from the beginning shots where you could see no cables installed in the thing itself. So you get to pick and choose what you want to install from the box, which means you can manage the cable management a lot better and keep things a lot neater and minimize the amount of cables in the back of your case, which is always nice when you're in the process of building a PC because things can get very messy when you have too many cables. So that's already a major bonus of this PSU and the fact that it runs quietly and looks good too. It's obviously designed really well. German built with a focus on engineering quality and a wonderful overall design. Also, one of their premium ones. So it's designed to last and that comes with a five year warranty as such to ensure that it keeps going. And that is obviously a bonus as well. One of the other highlights that you'll see is the nicely sleeved cables and cables do make a big difference. I found that these cables are well designed and you'll see them coming out of the box. They're also sleeved very nicely and they're really flexible. Sometimes I found on previous PSUs I've dealt with that the cables are a bit too fat and inflexible, making them very difficult to install. That's not the case with a straight power 11. So in the box, obviously you get a manual, which talks to you about the various setup processes on it. A whole bunch of cables, very nice premium quality ones, the PSU in the middle, and there's also a mains power supply cable, which is obviously where you plug it into your wall, which I will complain about in a second because it is a European plug. <laughs> and, and living in England, that's a bit of a pain. I had to use an adapter or alternatively another plug that I already happen to have laying around. So there you go, the setup in the box already. You can see a number of cables included in here, everything you need for most cases. And I found that the installation was really straightforward from that as well. Now getting the PSU out, as I said already, you saw early on in the video that this is a modular power supply, so none of the cables are already plugged in, but you will find there's some nice labeling on the side, which tells you all about it and which cables go where, which makes the installation a lot easier. Now we've got everything out of the box, you can see that you also have some cable ties included as well as the screws for installation in the case. Cable ties obviously mean that you have a nice time of being able to install the cables once you've finished with them, the power supply cables, but also other cables. It's always welcome to get those additionally. And they recommend using the screws that are included in the box with this PSU because they have the right thread to install that installation and set up properly. So here you can see a close up look at this. Now this PSU is designed to be wire free around the important areas of the cooling vents to keep it running quiet and efficiently as well, which is a nice touch that you can see some of during this installation process. And also just a look at that side again. So you will see that you have a various different slots of plugging the cables in as well as labels on what goes where. For example, you can see the drive ones and the PCIe one and two down the bottom, motherboard power supply at the top and CPU power up there as well. And more on that in a second. So here we're going about the installation process within this XPG case, but the setup should be similar in most. It faces down to the bottom to suck cold air from below the case and keep it cool. And so the Be Quiet logo is now upside down. This is obviously going to depend on the design of your 
PC case. I've seen some, for example, side mounted or top mounted, so it really will vary. But this is how it will work in this case. So I'm making enough space in here to ensure that I can get it in. Now, the next step I'd recommend is plugging your cables in before you get going. So you want to make sure you plug in all those cables in so they're easier to set up when you get inside the case, because otherwise you've got to fiddle around, push your hand in a small gap and set them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in the motherboard power supply, which is obviously the large 20 pin or 24 pin. In most cases, it's 24 pin that you require. And you can see that those sort of clip together. So you have the choice of whether it's 20 or 24. And that's actually split into two. So the 20 part is sits at the bottom here and the under the MB noting. So you can plug it in there and then the extra bits plug in just above that. That's the main power for your motherboard. Plugs in the right hand side. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And then you have the other slots for your drives and for your graphics card and for the secondary power supply for the top level. And you can see the power for the graphics card here is marked as VGA. Plug that into the PCIe 1 or 2 slots and that then has the cables that you need for your graphics card. When you get to that and you'll see again you have VGA markings on them so you know what's what. So it's labeled at both ends which makes the installation much simpler because it's really obvious where things go. SATA power is what you'd use to supply things like fan control boxes, hard disk drives, 2.5 inch SATA drives. You can see you just plug in those in. And again, you have three of those slots and each cable has multiple connectors on it as well. So there's loads and loads of potential power in here for a multitude of devices. And obviously 750 watts gives you a decent amount of power to supply most of the things that you're installing in your case. So if you have multiple drives, a chunky graphics card with loads of power in it and other things too, then you'll find that this should be more than enough to get the job done. In the case that I'm using, it has, for example, front power as well for RGB lighting and for fan power and things as well. So there's lots of different cables that need plugging in and yet this still does a job. So now seeing it in the back of the case and using the screws that are included, as I said, to install the PSU here, fairly simple, lines up with the holes in the back of the case and then you get into that installation process. Then we've just got to position the cables and run them through to the right spots. You have a nice amount of cable length. What you see is limited space in this case in order to sort of manage that and hide them away but they're very nicely sleeved cables that are very flexible as i said now what we're going to do here is i'm also running the cpu one so you can see it's marked as cpu p4 and p8 that's essentially the number of connectors on there and i have one on the top of my motherboard that i'll show you in a second which is split into two sections which has one with eight on it and one with four on it but you can see you have the option to split between those powers so you have the ability to plug it into multiple motherboards some have more for example power supply requirements on the top of them than others and so because of the way this is designed you have the option to install or not install as is the case for your motherboard so it's worth checking out your motherboard manual to make sure you know which cables need installing and where. This is a, a Zeus Pro RB550 motherboard, which requires power on the right hand side of the 24 pin main power supply unit, but also this split at the top, as you can see, there's one large power supply connector and then one small one with just four pins in it. And this cable set up from Be Quiet means that you can easily plug those in quite simply although it is a bit of a fiddle in this case, but the setup with the cables itself, as you can see, they're very flexible, they're easy to maneuver and very easy to set up too. And then the larger 24 pin runs in on the right hand side and plugs in. Again, you can actually use this in either 20 pin or 24 pin, depending on your motherboard. I found most motherboards that I've used require a 24 pin connection. So you just need to push those two together in order to clip it into the right hand side. I initially ran it quite close to the motherboard through the slot that was closer and then I found it was better to run it further away. But one of the things that I found is it's much more easy to manipulate this cable than it has been other sort of power supplies where I've dealt with in the past where they have a really chunky cable that's really difficult to maneuver because the way they've sleeved this one, it's really flexible and it plugs in quite simply. And of course, the most important 
for a gamer is to be able to plug in your graphics card. So here are 3090 RTX from Gigabyte overclocked and that requires two power connectors. These are the VGA cables. They plug into the PCI 1 and 2 slot on the power supply unit and then allow you to connect your graphics card up. If you have multiple PCIe connections, you have the option of adding extra cables in. But this is more than enough to power this setup with these massive RGB fans, the powerful graphics card, high-end CPU, and more as well. And then you have it, the end result of the machine all set up and ready to run. A nice straightforward setup. Now the joy of this Be Quiet, and the joy of this Be Quiet power supply unit is it runs cool and quietly. I found that it wasn't overpowering. It's got a really nice design where it runs quietly under pressure and also just under idling as well. So it doesn't add a lot of extra noise to your case. If you have a case like this that has multiple fans in it already, you're really not going to notice the power supply making much more noise at all and it runs efficiently and it does a good job and it should last for a long time. So this has been the Provoke Pro and let me know if you've got any comments. Be sure to check out the build on the XPG case and see more of the intricacies of that build and what it was like because it is a nice case, nicely affordable and it has a nice finish to it as you can see. Fairly straightforward setup and thanks for taking the time to watch. Hope you found it useful. Have a great life. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.